So one problem. What? Is this gonna fit? Is this part gonna fit? Today's a new day, a new dawn. Going back to my last video where I put acoustic strings on an electric guitar, we're gonna do something in that same like genre or niche to put bass strings on a ukulele. I have no idea how that is gonna turn out. I don't even know if it'll even work. So we're going to the guitar store right now. We're gonna buy the strings and we're gonna ask the guy at, at the front desk if it'll even work because I don't even know if it'll even work. All right, last time we were here, we took the bus and now we drove. Isn't that how crazy life could change like that? Hey man, remember us? Yeah, we're the people that ask to put acoustic strings on an electric guitar. Okay, that's yeah. Right. yeah, we're gonna try to put bass strings on a ukulele. Uh, I mean, they make, they make, well, yeah, you're going to destroy that uke. There's no way to, there, there would be no way to put them on a uke. Because the hole is too small, right? The hole's too small. That's what I was thinking. Thing and yeah, there's, unless you completely change out the, the saddle, probably still wouldn't work. So you really think if I do it, I'm going to destroy my ukulele? Probably. Oh, shoot. You only live once, you know? I don't, I don't really play, I, I, I'll be more than glad to give it a shot. I, I don't really play my ukulele, so. I mean, one thing you can try, these might work. So what do you got? These? These are regular, like, upright bass strings. All right. So they're supposed to be, like, a little softer, I think, longer. These might work. The low E, the A. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take these. I really like the end of them. I feel like I could probably, like, fix it and, like, get it to be even thinner. Okay. Now. Here's the kicker, ready? Oh yeah, tell me, I'm ready. A full set is gonna cost you 125 bucks. <laughs> really? I thought it would be like 20 bucks. How much are these? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Thinking off the top of my head, putting any heavy, he heavy kind of string with a lot of tension on an instrument that's not meant for that. It won't work. My brain says that, that you know, that you just gonna snap right in half. You said 20 bucks? 2172 is gonna be extra tax. 2172? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here you got one dollar. <laughs> you don't want to break the law on YouTube, right? You gotta pay taxes. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, it did. On YouTube, taxes, taxes heavy, dude. If we somehow manage to get this figured out, I, I will bring it back and I'll yeah, show I'll you, all right? See it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll work. You never know till you try, you know? Yeah, you never know till you try. All right, thank you, man. Have a good day. Okay. We're back in the man cave. This is my first time buying bass strings because you guys know I don't have a bass in my house and I didn't realize they were this big. Compared to electric guitar strings, it's a monster. It's kind of scary, but you know what they say, bigger is better. <sighs> Here we go, bass strings. So first thing I'm gonna chop off all of the strings. Imagine the whole ukulele breaks right now. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> uh, let's get a double kill. It might even strong enough. Uh, Damn, this one's strong, bro. It doesn't want to break. You know what? I think it might fit through the hole. If it fits through the hole, it makes everything so much easier. Yo, oh my oh. gosh. That is literally a lifesaver, bro. I thought it wouldn't fit through the hole. So that means the only part we have to cut off is this part. Do you think we should tune it to a ukulele or a bass? Or just not tune it at all? But like tune it, but like, like barely. Probably barely. I think we'd have to just barely tune it to any letters because if we tune it to ukulele or bass, especially the pitch, this thing is going to snap in half. Okay, let's get started. So basically my plan is we're going to put the strings on. We're probably going to cut the strings in half because these are bass strings and they're way too long for the use. A few inches later. Okay, so basically what we had to do is we had to look at literally the diameter in inches and millimeters for each of the strings and then convert that to AWG and then find which dimensions match to our thing. And then we're going to use a wire cutter to basically like unravel these parts and just leave the tip hanging and that's how we're gonna get it through the saddle that's what we're gonna do so basically that's what problem is doing right now and his shop in high school is robotics so the best thing has happened so he knows how to do this okay so new plan how we're gonna do this basically what we're gonna do we realized that we could just put the end of this we could just put the ballpoint end and just loop it around like we don't have to tie it, like how you tie classical strings so that's what we're doing but these holes are way too small so problem is just like fidgeting around just like a screwdriver and trying to make the holes bigger and we're just gonna fit it fit the string through the saddle and pull it through and the ballpoint end is gonna be here and then we're just gonna cut the string so we're not gonna unwind the string like how we were doing before but it's this is very tedious and 
done. We've been at this for like two hours and all I hope is that my ukulele doesn't break. Oh my gosh. All of the three other strings fit through the hole, which is good, except this one. So we have made the hole extensively wide. If this one fits right now, we are in the clear. We could start stringing. Yep. Yes. Oh shit. It's going through, but. Yo, grab the pliers and pull it. Yes. Okay. Yep. We're getting there. <sighs> we have been at this for two hours. It's. It's unbelievable. We are destroying my ukulele. Yes. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> that is good. That is a good feeling. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. What do we do now? <laughs> Let's just push it all the way through. Oh no. Oh, I got. Thick. Look, it gets thicker. Oh my gosh. No way. No way, bro. Dude. And the recording. Oh my god, Luna. Okay, so this wasn't good. Our original plan of us making the hole bigger didn't work because the string towards the end got thicker. So we had to resort to plan B. Wait, it's act it broke the saddle. No way. It's still functional, I would assume. Oh but my god, it broke? No, no, no. It's like shattered on the left. Okay, well, we might as well test it now. Where's the wire? Yeah, try it, try it, try it. If it doesn't work now, I think we give up the possibility of this fourth string. <laughs> now. We're here. No, it's not moving. Shit, bro. Well, this piece, there's this gone. Maybe it'll work. Maybe without that piece. No, it's not moving. No, I think it's done, dude. It's done. Damn, bro. Things shattered. Okay, I think I might have a suggestion. Hey, good news. We got it. Got hey. It. I don't think we can get any food. I think we just accept it there. There's no point okay, to try to get okay, any Okay, further. okay, okay. We got oh it as my far gosh. as we can. Okay. This is what we've done for about two hours and we've gotten one string on and that's probably as close as we're gonna get. So now we're gonna do all of the other strings and see where we go from there. Oh my gosh. All right, like literally two hours later, we have done it. Well, not, we, we didn't, we're nowhere near done, but like we have fit the strings through the saddle, through the hole, and now we're ready to string it. Okay, so now it's just the guitar. Right, you just string it like a guitar. I think what you're supposed to do, like one and a half tuning pegs, which is around an inch. That's where you're supposed to cut it. I'm gonna cut it like around here. So one problem. What is this gonna fit? Is this part gonna fit? Oh shit! No, I think it should fit. Let's pull it and see. This doesn't fit through the hole. I honestly don't know what to do. <laughs> Stop the recording. So we came to the conclusion that only the thickest string, the E string, doesn't fit through the tuning peg. But I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten this one, the G string right now, because it's a guaranteed fit. We're just gonna tune it to where like it seems okay. We got rid of this because it's bringing the strings too much up. I don't think that'll make a difference. So put it through the hole. We're gonna use a string winder. Oh my gosh, here we go. Feels weird, bro. It feels like it doesn't belong. It's getting a little tighter, which is good. As I said, I'm not gonna tune it all the way to like G or whatever. I'm just gonna tune it until it snaps into place. Okay, there, there we go. Oh, you hear that? Yo, we did it. That's one string on. You hear that? We did one string. Oh my god. Damn, bro. Two hours later. Okay, we have strung three strings and this string, it was too big to fit through the hole. So what we had to do is we had to unwind like the metal part and get the bare string out. Only for a little bit, just to make it fit through the hole. And that's what we did. And now we're gonna do the last string and then we have accomplished stringing bass strings onto a ukulele, which took so long. We started at like three and now it's six. Eight. Oh, one PM. Oh, we did it! Yes! Oh my god, we did the impossible! Putting bass Imagine the whole thing just yeah. slaps right now. We put bass strings on a ukulele. Oh my god, bro! This is crazy. This has to be the most unique and creative thing we've ever done. And now we have bass strings on a ukulele. Look, literal metal steel strings on a ukulele. Obviously, we took the saddle out because it would make the strings go too much up. And all you guys saying that I ruin my ukulele i never really play it so and i just thought it would be a cool experiment but now the biggest concern is tuning it i don't know if i should tune it to a ukulele or a bass there we go Sounds so shitty, dude. But yeah, this is the best, and I'm not tuning it to any tuning because then my ukulele is gonna snap in half because of the tension. So let's see what song we could play. Just it tuned to random tuning. It's 
sounds like sounds like when you jump in Mario. <laughs> it does sound like it. What the hell? Yep, that is it for playing a ukulele with bass strings. This is the best you get. We have spent the last four, three hours doing this, and this is the best we got. A ukulele is ruined. <laughs> this is unbelievable. If you guys would like to see any more crazy ideas or challenges like this, if you guys want to see me put any other types of strings on another instrument, just let me know. Because anything with strings belongs on any type of instrument. That's the motto I go by. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. And I'll see you later.